Uh, been a man from inception To ever lose, no accepting All the way from overseas came through I ain't getting no reception Probably could have been an accent Or better yet, it was a past them Me, I'm me, and I'm staying me So if I lose you, then that's you uh. Three, two, one <laughs> What's up, people? I go by the name of Jazz, And this is No Filter Podcast And today with me, I brought Well, you guys already know my regular Beautiful host right here Jasmine, you should start introducing yourself. I'm Jasmine. Like, ooh. Hi. I need to tell you to take the whole camera and just say introduce yourself. Well, I was gonna be here. extra not all the time. Anyway, go ahead. I, I got <laughs> extra ass. I got another beautiful lady over here, Jenny from the down the block. What's poppin', guys? <laughs> cute. All right. <laughs> You anyway. make me look bad, because now I'm so extra for no reason. You just See, like, she's so chill. <laughs> I mean, but it adds dynamic to it, it right? So it's kind of like, like, and then it's kind of like balances out, right? And I then me, I'm does. just the an angel in it's between. No, I'm just trying to guess myself. But anyways, I'm trying to share some love, like, you know? Kids, we're about to talk about some love. We go spread it like some Nutella. Mm-hmm. You didn't just say that. I'm gonna put that on the screen as well. We're gonna spread it like some nuts. How are you overdoing it? Anyways, people. So, um, we we're having a conversation earlier before we got on camera, and it was about love and how you know you're in love or and the difference between loving somebody and, and being in, in love with somebody and it kinda like sparked something. So I feel like we're gonna have a Spicy conversation. You gotta switch it up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, minty. I, I used minty last one. Like, yeah. All right. We're gonna have. We're gonna a, have a smooth. Right. It's not gonna be smooth. You know that. It's not gonna be smooth. You know that. We're gonna have a deep conversation. Are we also gonna talk about when the first person says "I love you"? Oh yeah. So we're I just gonna like talk about it as a whole. A little bit. Yeah. 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 So, uh, so different okay. perspectives. We can all talk. So about different what should we hit up first? Well, I feel like it should go in order of, like, how it usually happens. So, um, what is your first, um, like, when do you feel it is socially acceptable or when do you feel comfortable enough to actually tell somebody that you love them? Uh, That's the iffy one. Because for me, I'm straight up. I'm very honest. So, like, if I feel it, except, like... I'm kind of like, you know, sometimes you get in the bag and like, you know, you get a little bit, you get shy for just that person. It's not like you're shy for everybody. It's just, you know, that person gets you a little that you can't get it out. But I'm pretty like, if I feel it and like, I just, I I say it, I might text it. Let me put it like that. I might just text it sometimes. That takes away. What? Like, yeah, I feel, uh, no, you, you can't, there's certain things that you can't say over text message for the first time. And that is definitely one of them. Sometimes. It, you know, like, you know, that's like, happens, that's man. like proposing over text. Yeah, I was just going to say, like, you don't propose to someone you're in your text message. So can you imagine? Like, hey babe, just so uh, you know, when you come home, I'm going to ask you or not, it's to like, marry me. Uh, will you marry me? Are you fucking joking? Are you joking? I set myself up for that one. Yeah. Right? No, but um, I think it's when you're confident in what you're saying and you're confident that it's a mutual feeling because there's nothing worse than telling somebody that you love them and they don't feel the same. Does it have to be moved? Like, like a mutual I, feeling? I don't, th- I don't feel like it has I to be I don't think mutual. so, neither. I don't know. I just feel like... If you say it to somebody and they don't feel the same way, it can be very discouraging. But that's And then okay. that can change the way things go in the relationship. That's true. That's true. Especially but then, if you don't know where the person stands. But then you could love somebody and not try to be intimate with the person. You could just actually just love yeah, but the I, person. Yeah, but are we speaking about, like, friends? Are we speaking about somebody no, that you're in a relationship obviously, with? Obviously, I'm talking about everything, but that's, that's just, like some sort of example in a sense that I feel like it doesn't have to be both ways. Like, you know, even in a relationship, 
you could tell someone you could love you love them and they don't feel the same way yet. yeah but and i feel down like the line they're like, i feel like when you tell some, when you're in a relationship with, mm-hmm. with somebody and you tell them that you love them mm-hmm. the way that it's taken mm-hmm. is being in love with somebody because it the l word is one of those things that you don't throw around loosely because the more you throw it around the less meaning and the less significance it has so when mm. you say it to somebody you are trying to convey the significance of how you feel towards them i mean that's true what you think i i think that's true because i like that's you're right I, mean. I just feel like at the end of the day it's like you could you could love somebody and they not feel the same way. I'm not saying like when you get in a relationship, both you're feeling or when you're like the the process of getting in a relationship, I feel like both your feelings are not always exactly the same. It gets exactly the same. You know when you're in a relationship, that's when you know, oh, we both clicked. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? So the process of getting into a relationship and that's what we're going to go into like being in love. It's like you could love somebody and they might not love you the way well, or they might not course, love you because yet. like naturally the way that people work is like things grow differently for different people yeah and it's it's like you can feel like you love somebody before they feel the same way mm-hmm. but i think being able to tell somebody that is a completely different factor because then you have to think about okay well are they on the same page as i am Mm-hmm. Are they taking things as seriously as I am mm-hmm. in a relationship base, not necessarily yeah. a friendship base, yeah. but in a relationship base, I think it is crucial to know that you're on the same page, especially if you have been in a similar situation before or if you've been in a relationship before, and even if you just have experience or knowledge of other people's experience where they have said that they loved somebody and then it turned out that they were getting played or something yeah in those sorts of situations you want to be more cautious of your feelings and of who you choose to say certain things to yeah so i think that's why i would say it's a smarter or i guess a safer yeah move to I say it when, you, when it's mutual i feel that mm-hmm. i mean like it plays into that still like when do you think is the best time to tell someone you love them I, I don't think there's like a specific mm-hmm. like time frame I could say, but like, d- like f- personally for me, definitely when I f- think and I feel like the feelings are mutual, because mm-hmm. like if I said it too early, then like I, I feel like I'd feel awkward about it, yeah. and it would change the course yeah. of the relationship. I think that that's what we were saying before, like when someone says it to someone else and they don't feel the same way yet it's just kind of awkward it puts you in like a strange position Mm -hmm. yeah you don't know how to feel i agree with both of you then he puts us in a box like because someone has to say it first at some point right yeah but it's kind of like it's in the same sense like you're not going to ask somebody to be your significant other unless you feel like they want to be because mm-hmm. it's like you don't want to ask somebody out if you That's don't true. think that they like you because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. then if you do it's like oh i don't really feel like <laughs> you're like oh. yeah, yeah. I, I also feel like sometimes there might be like times where it just feels very right like with my ex and i like the time that it happened it just felt so right like in my mind it felt right and mm-hmm. i assume in his mind as well and then, like, when we had said it to each other, it was just, it was a good feeling. It wasn't kind of, like, strange. Mm-hmm. All right. I guess so. When the moment's right, that's the right time to say it. Yeah, it's like, that's that's what I mean in the sense of, like, mutual. It's like yeah. when you feel like you guys are on the same page. Yeah. But you could just, you could love the person, but then saying it is, like, yeah. finding that perfect timing. Yeah. Well, it's like, I mean, you're going to feel however you're going to feel no matter what. Yeah. It's like when you like someone, you can't control it. True. You already feel like you like the person. It's just about when you tell them that you do. It's true. All right. I guess that could go on. Yeah. Like, wow, we're growing, eh? <laughs> we never used to agree on shit before. It's because... I got the juice. Wow. She just guesses all <laughs> over that. She just guesses all over that. I got the tea. Yeah, um, but, no, nah, okay, I, I dig that still. But, alright, so. 
So now being in love, though, like completely different thing. Completely different thing. So we were talking about it earlier and yeah. we were kind of trying to find the definitions of each. And I think that loving somebody is being able to uh, put them first if you're like upset with them or they've done something that is um, offensive or disrespectful towards you. When you love them, you can kind of look past those things. But being in love with somebody is being able to put them ahead of your own needs. Yeah, that's the part I don't agree. The part that you said putting them above your own needs, I just feel like like being in love doesn't necessarily, to me, mean putting you above my knees like i feel like the point where we both reciprocally that's a long one like where the love is actually <laughs> like in your ass <laughs> don't even have it back you know, where the where the um where the love is actually equal on both sides mm-hmm. it's like when it's reciprocated yeah thank you jasmine you're welcome you're welcome but i know what i, I was saying though mm-hmm. all right mm-hmm. When, like, it's both equal on both sides, it's kind of like, then at that point, you know, like, you're in love. Like, when you guys are both willing to do whatever it takes Yeah, but you can be other. in love with somebody who isn't in love with you. Yeah, you could. Exactly. Yeah, you so could. then it wouldn't be reciprocated. But, are we talking about, like, kids in a relationship now, right? Mm-hmm. If you say, because we're talking about relationships, right? Okay, but we're just talking about when you feel comfortable to tell somebody that you're in love with them. Yeah, because now you're in a relationship. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So if I'm, if yeah, I'm saying... Yeah, but you could have been in a... Re- you could be in a relationship and both tell each other, I love you. Mm-hmm. But saying, I'm in love is mm-hmm. at a different level. Yeah, so it's kind of like... But then... Is... You, both of y'all are not... At the peak of your relationship. Like, <laughs> I hope we're both looking at you like, where are you going with this? No, because, like, I know where like I know where I'm heading with it. It's like, because... Mm-hmm. Okay, Help hold us hold to get me, to that point. Yeah, I'm just making sure. But it's like... All right, I'm 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 trying to... I'm almost confused. Should I read that definition head. again that I read to you? No, it's not about the definition. Because my problem is with saying putting them above you. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's wrong. I just feel like when you're in love with somebody, you want to make sure that they're taken care of. Yeah, and that's Even true. if that means that you're making sure that they're eating before you're mm-hmm. eating. Mm-hmm. Like, that's in the same way that a parent does. Yeah. It's like you want to make sure that they're good even if you aren't. Yeah. And it's kind of like, even if you break up with somebody or something happens and you guys are no longer together, you still want them to be happy, even if it's not with you, because that's how much you love them and that's how in love you've been with them. Yeah. And that's what I mean when I say that you're putting them before yourself. I'm not saying that, like, who cares about me? I want to make sure that you're perfect. I'm just saying, like, if you don't have, you want to make sure that they aren't without. Yeah, okay, I dig that. Like, Mm -hmm. I dig that. Like, I swear to you, like, I agree with you. It was just that part that you said putting them above. I think maybe I just needed to uh, elaborate on that. Yeah, and be a little more concise. Yeah, because, like, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm really not about that. Like, I you don't know, it's mean, almost like, like your I will make myself like. Yeah, no, nah, I get it now. Like, I get it now, obviously. It's just that trophy. That's actually a conversation. Like, you know how someone treats the next person like a trophy? Yeah, but that's more of like idolization. That's a conversation. Because, like, I've actually experienced that a lot. So have I. Like, like in my previous relationship, um, we were at different levels of being in love with each yeah. other and it's easier to (laughs) yeah so we were at different levels and because he was in love and Mm -hmm. i wasn't there yet to everybody else i looked like a bitch because Mm -hmm. it was clear 
And it was like, at that point, to everybody else, it seemed like I was walking all over him. Mm-hmm. And at some points I was, because it's kind of like when somebody is so in love with you and they're willing to do whatever for you and you're not at the same level, it's kind of like, uh, like, okay, like, you don't really know what to do yet. So it's like, that's why I say it's kind of like important to be sure that you guys are on the same page before you make those sorts of uh, statements because they will (laughs) haunt you forever if it's not reciprocated. So, if a guy told his girlfriend, right, that he was in love with her, Mm -hmm. you think that was a wrong move? No, I just think that it's like, I think if you're, you really want to make sure that you are okay, Mm -hmm. then you should do things when, like, I've always said, like, no matter what, if you're in a relationship or not, you always want to, like, make sure that you're okay. And it's like, you don't want to go into something giving your all, making somebody a priority when Mm -hmm. you're suffering. So you still want to make sure that you're okay. And it's like, you don't want to be taken advantage of. So, okay. All right. In love for you is what? How do you feel when you're in love? Have you ever been in love? Actually, let me ask that. Yes, I have been in love. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like, I went through a lot of different stages of love. Um, It started off with, like, loving someone. Like, I could say, I love you. I love your presence. I like being here and being around you. Thank you. And, like, we do a lot of fun things together. I don't know. She's not talking about oh, you. Do, do you love me? She loves me. She's not talking about her life story. Just say it. Why are you coming off? I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, I don't know. I just... I mean, I, I feel like for myself and my ex that I felt... I feel like the time frame of, like, from the time that we started dating until the time um, that we actually, like, fell in love with each other was... Mm-hmm. Wasn't as long as I perceived it to be. Okay. Maybe it just happened faster, but I don't know. It's just like I I feel like I need to be as comfortable with that person as I am with myself. Like mm-hmm. the saying goes, like love yourself before you love somebody else. It's deep. Um, but I I agree with Jasmine. I'm not yeah. trying to just get no, 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 no. But I, I do believe that yeah. when you love someone, you definitely should put them above yourself. Yeah. Um, and you would obviously think that person does the same towards you, right? I agree with both of you all Because, look... Well, we have very similar points. But hold on yeah. a second. Let, let, oh, sorry, I don't want to cut you off, but mm-hmm. let me finish this one thing. Yeah. I was listening to your conversation before about social yeah. media as well. Yeah. And trust trust is a big thing for me. Yeah. Like, maybe some people don't really care too much about it, but, I mean, like, the level I had of trust I had for this person was extreme. And I'm like, Jasmine, I, I could care less if you're liking someone's photo or whatever, yeah. commenting BS. Like, I could care less. Honestly, like, trust is at the end of the day, thing, you're coming too. home to me. And then and we it's like, continue our lives the next day. In my previous relationship, people think that I'm crazy That's for great. saying it, but um, I did have a best friend, and whenever we would go places, I would feel like a third wheel, but not in like the third wheel. Oh my god, they're gonna like they're the, like together in the sense where it's like they would be having a conversation more than we would be having a conversation, and I was just yeah. like, whatever, like y'all like. Y'all keep each other occupied. I'm going to be over here doing whatever. Yeah. And people thought it was crazy because it was like, I could comfortably say, like, they could be laying on a bed beside each other together. And I'd be like, hey, what's up? Like, what are we doing today? And, like, I'd be unfazed. And people like, that's crazy. And I'm like, I trust both of them. And I know how much this person is in love with me. And I'm not concerned about where they're going to end up because... Like you, I am me. Like, you're right. Like, like both of y'all are right. Like, you know, like, I want to play devil's advocate. Like, because then it becomes a combo. Because mm-hmm. it's like, so for that person over there, and trust is trust is key. Because if you did have that trust, then you know the person is just 
that's, that comment doesn't mean that, you know, it's actually yeah. just a genuine comment because now we've mistaken comments for flirtations and stuff like that. So it's like, if for someone who's out there and there's definitely someone out there in a relationship and going through something like that, and it's like, how to... If you see some your 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 man or yeah your man or for a lady or a guy or whatever the case may be, if you mm-hmm. see a significant other like commenting on like on like a on like on like a certain kind of picture, a provocative picture, mm-hmm. like does it? Well, I feel like your man shouldn't be or your girl shouldn't be doing that in the first place. Okay, okay, so because then now. Those are stipulations, because, like, that's what I mean, because, like, it's like you could trust somebody, and the person was like, oh, yo, you know what, I just seen the picture, it's art. Like... That sounds like an excuse to me. That doesn't sound realistic. What do you think? Because I feel like if, yeah, like, if you like it, yeah. like, you can look at something and like it without double tapping. Especially True. if you have respect for somebody and you know how society is going to perceive that. Mm-hmm. Like, you can look at something and be like, oh, yo, that's sick. Do you know what? If I like this... Or you can look at a, a naked girl or a fucking Instagram model who's in a bikini. And you mm-hmm. can be like, yo, the aesthetics of this picture are nice. And yeah. Actually yeah. Art. And, and that goes to say this is why you get mad. And you always say, like, black men don't cheat. Mm-hmm. And it's not just black men, but there's so many temptations out mm-hmm. in the world. Mm-hmm. And that's For, why, like, like, women too. Exactly. Yeah. That's, exactly. Yeah. That's why, like, when I came out of my relationship in August... I like I, I sat and I just think I just I think to myself and I'm like, you know what? Like I need to really slow down, and realize everything before I get into another relationship. Mm-hmm. So like, those same things don't happen to me yeah. because there are so many temptations in the world, and it's crazy like, what people do and they don't like really realize what they do. That's true. Because mm-hmm. I think true. sometimes. Things can be um, misinterpreted, but I think if you are with somebody and you do love them and you do think about how they're going to feel about certain things, then when you're about to do something, you're going to think about how they're going to react. And I think that's also a part of growth within a relationship is that before you guys get into an argument or if you are in an argument, when you say things, sometimes you could say things and you don't mean it. But if you actually take a second to think about how they're going to feel about what you're saying, that's how you can prevent a lot of things. And it's the same thing with social media. It's the same thing with telling somebody if they aren't ready. Mm-hmm. It's like when you see videos of like somebody proposing and the person is not ready yeah. to get married. It's like, did you guys not have that conversation? Because yeah. you should have a conversation before I you feel propose like to somebody. people don't have mm-hmm. that, that conversation, but... That's part of what... No, but I think throughout a relationship... Cause you know what? Like I, I've had that conversation. Yeah. Like, with my like, ex, we but, talked about it all the time. Like, see, we talked about... But you guys you guys are smart, and that's why we're over here giving these conversations. But yeah, but I wasn't saying, necessarily the one who initiated it. He did. Exactly. Yeah. So, I'm saying the people out there who nobody is initiating that conversation. Do you get what I mean? No, I and get that, but that's why I think the same that it's way, like, but, you should have these conversations mm-hmm. when things are yeah. mutual. Mm-hmm. Because it's like... Before we broke up, like we spoke to, like we spoke about it for years. Yeah. So, I'm sorry, sorry to cut you off, but I want you to say it like you're telling somebody who doesn't know how to, like you're giving them the how to. It's it's hard. It's it's a it's a feeling. Like it's not necessarily something that you can think of. Like it's more of a feeling. Like before we broke up, I had a feeling. I was like, yo, he's going to propose, blah blah yeah. blah. I was and just then say that as well. we had like we got into an argument. And we spoke afterwards, after we broke up and everything like that. And he told me that when we got into that argument, when Mm -hmm. I had that gut feeling that's what he was going to do, he had it on him. Like, he had the ring in his pocket. He was going to. And I had that feeling. And it's like, I just knew. And it's one of those things, it's like, when you know, you know. And it's like... When you know that someone's in love with you, you can feel it. You can see it. Everybody around you sees it. Some people are in denial, though. Yeah. You, I mean, you can deny how you feel, 
But that doesn't mean that you don't feel it. Mm-hmm. Like, you know? Like, like, could you, could you, could you, okay, let me balance it. Because I got to balance it. Could you tell me how you felt when you got that feeling? Like, that same feeling? Yeah. Like, I mean, like. How did you feel for it? My, okay, my ex and I talked about it. Not like a lot, but we talked about it a fair yeah. amount. Yeah. Um, and I I remember specifically like it was over like a year and a half that it wasn't really mentioned. And this is when things started to get rocky and I think like he noticed like our Going moods back. were mm-hmm. changing towards yeah. each other. Um, and when the, co- the, the, sorry, the time came that you know we had to talk about where our relationship stands and w- where we want to go forward he had told me like i can't believe like you know all this is happening i got you a ring i was going to propose to you on christmas and i had told him I'm like you like you never really talked to me about like when you would feel it's mm-hmm. comfortable to do these things mm-hmm. we talked about yeah like maybe one day we might get married mm-hmm. who knows yeah. But it was it never went further than that. So when the time came and he's like, he didn't really understand like what to do or how to feel. And I told him like, like next time if there's ever a next time or if you ever get married, like you need to have the discussion with the person. Mm-hmm. I I feel like that's appropriate because I told him like, if we didn't break up at the time we did, and Christmas came, time came, and I we still didn't. F- I or I still didn't feel the same way you did about me. That would have been awkward. That would have been yeah. awkward. Like, what if someone went to go to propose to you and you specifically didn't feel ready? That would like that, and that's the thing is that it's like, like you don't want to hurt that he person. Been but so discouraged. Moving yeah, forward. that's what I'm saying. And that's where if I want to like like what you you meant to what were you were saying so. When you're in love with somebody, imagine, like, then you're, like... Mm. That's why I say, like, don't do things until you're certain. Because That's if you're crazy. not, it's just gonna... Because, like, imagine if he did do that and she said no, and then his next time when he is in love with somebody and he feels like he yeah. wants to do that, he's gonna second guess. Yeah. I mean, like... That doesn't just go for men, because women do propose as yeah. well. Yeah. I almost proposed. <laughs> really? That's cute, actually. I feel like... I love a I love a woman to propose to me. Yeah. That'd be nice. See, but, but that's the thing is that it's like different people have different experiences, so you can't mm-hmm. really touch on everyone's experience. Yeah. My experience was different yeah. um, because of how long I knew him yeah. and how long we were together and how intertwined our lives really were. Because um, like we were even like at a point like actively trying to conceive. Mm-hmm. So it's like it it was a very serious situation and that's how the relationship was. So for me to kind of look at somebody else's situation is incomparable for the most yeah. part. Yeah. I mean, the there's a basis to it all, but like the situations are different. But isn't love such a beautiful thing though? all the time love is a beautiful thing like you know love is so great it just, it just has to, it just it just needs two people who know how to love like shouts out Wayne but it takes two love. people you know what I mean like <laughs> okay you don't have to know how no, you, you gotta like, know how to no, love. No, but a lot of people don't know how to, but when you feel it, you feel it. But the process of learning how to love is amazing as well. Yeah, like, because you, know you learn, I mean? and that's the best thing about love, is that you learn yeah. through feeling. Like, anybody can tell you anything, but it's like, once you feel it, you're like, oh, like, <laughs> that's, that's really what they were feel. trying to tell me. No, nah, you're right about that's that. Love. Yeah, like, mm. you know, because... So I, great. <laughs> It's so great! The fucking butterflies. Just like. Those lift butterflies me up. hurt, though. Oh, those, those to be are honest, dangerous. They actually hurt. Like, those are my favorite. If you have those for like two days, it hurts. I'm not even going to lie. You start filling it down. No, I'm talking too much. Well, there's but, different like, types of butterflies. No, this is. There's that a, like, butter, oh, that... you're so cute, butterflies. And no, I'm talking like, about then, that. But then there's a like. Love, what, like what'd you just uh, say? You go, do what type of butterfly? Like, there's different there's butterflies. Really Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Don't front. Y'all. <laughs> there's like, oh, that's so yeah, sweet. And then there's a like. Wait, no? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nah, that's Shit, I don't tell the lovebirds. Like, eh. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right. So, 
All right. You done your craziness? Uh-huh. You done your craziness? I was not doing that was crazy. You was doing like the split halfway. Oh, no, I was stretching it on the my camera. <laughs> my nigga, like, I was I told you, like, I did the splits and my shit. Like, I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. Yo, yo, I'm too wild. thick to be doing that shit these days. I almost <laughs> said, I almost said a name. Just now, just now I caught myself. Um, I swear to God, I caught myself. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I caught myself. That would have been dangerous. You know what I was gonna say? No. The, New or old? <laughs> no, no. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Anyway, let's go. Uh, all right, but yeah, I mean, like, yeah, it's nice to know, like, like, everybody feels love differently. Mm-hmm. Like, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? And everybody experiences it differently. Yeah, like we all experience it differently, and. It's crazy to hear someone else's story because then sometimes you just feel like you're going crazy. And well, like, sometimes it's reassuring too. Yeah. Because it's like... You learn. You live and you learn. Yeah. Right? Or it's like if... I know, like a lot of people have... Almost everybody's really gone through this. When they've been through a situation and they felt like they were the only one and then when somebody else had it, you're like... Yeah. Like, right. Just like, like right it's now, normal. still. I felt that tonight, still. Like, you know what I mean? Like sharing stories with both of yeah. you guys. Because... Because I used to think that a lot of people are not capable to be in love. Well, like, do you know, you know what? what you I can mean? be, like, you can be with somebody or, like, you can potentially love someone or think that you're in love with them. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you're not. No, exactly. And that's what I mean. And then it turns out that you end up hitting both, both each yeah. other's feelings. Or, like, like, if you are... Or you think you're in love with someone and they're not in love with you. And, like, that shit just, like, crushes your soul. That one stabs. Like. That one actually kills, though. Yeah. Those are the worst ones, man. Like, hopefully for everyone watching and us. (laughs) It happened (laughs) during your teenage years and, like, you were able to get past that. Because that shit happening in your 20s is just, like, or your 30s, 40s, fucking, till you live in... Broke. But honestly, like, <laughs> like, as as bad as that sounds, like, I want, like, everybody to know, too, that, that you get out of that still. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you got to be willing to get out of that. Because I've known people who've gone suicidal, like, when they've gotten that. Like, you know what right. I mean? Well, like, heartbreak is, like, They feel like they lost the everything, like, you know? And I've, I've, I wouldn't say I was suicidal, like, about that, but... I remember I was locked in my room for months. Like, That's just depression. I disconnected my mm-hmm. phone and everything. Like that was not even cool. Was, I don't even wish that on my enemy. It's like honestly, I was in solitary. I, honestly, heartbreak is one of like the most devastating. Mm-hmm. Cause it's a, it's a loss, bro. Yeah. You're literally grieving something, and it's like I really that. don't wish that on a lot of people. Some people, I'm like, yo, you're so close to, like, me wishing on a break because you're a dickhead. Yeah. But, like, but, like honestly, yeah. it's one of the things that, like, you just don't want. And it's, like, whenever I watch things, it's, like, for an example, with, like, the, the Nipsey situation. Mm-hmm. I remember when I, I found out, oh. I literally, I cried for Lauren his London. His girlfriend? Oh, my God. I, I cried, cried for That was, like, that was his wife. Like, I girl. cried because I was, like, yo, it's so fucking hard to find someone that you love and to mm-hmm. find your soulmate and the, the love of your life and then to have someone take them from you. That's crazy. Like, I cried so much because, like, as a woman or just as a person who has experienced love and who has experienced loss, it was, like... Mm-hmm. That shit's devastating. Yeah. yeah. Like, how do you tell your kids? But, right. like, aside from that, love is a topic. It's, like, being able to find someone who you could truly say that you love them, you're in love with them, that's your soulmate, that's the person you're meant to be with. It's, yeah. like, that's a fucking accomplishment. Yeah. Like, for real. And if you finally keep it, because a lot of people find, they find that, or they, they're so close to it, and then they want to throw it away just because they could find, they, they, they think they could find better and I've experienced that too in my... Well, sometimes it's like, you can be in love with somebody, but sometimes it's not enough. Like, if a situation just isn't working or mm-hmm. there's whatever preventing it from actually yeah. being functional or you may be in love with somebody, but 
there's certain dynamics yeah, of the relationship. Financial that, stuff. Like, well, no, I mean, like, you, if you're in love with someone, you could get through financial burdens, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Yeah, but, but I I'm think saying, if, like, if you guys don't have communication or if, if, I don't know, like, there's no sexual relationship or the romanticism is dead or, like, whatever the case may be, if, like, it doesn't work, sometimes loving someone isn't enough to force a relationship. Mm-hmm. No, I mean that in the perfect sense of when you actually find that person, right? Because yeah. some people find that mutual. and, yeah, and it's mutual. Like, people have something that's not broke and then they're like, hmm, I wonder if or I had fixable. something. Yeah. Fixable. Exactly. That's actually a good one. Yeah. Fixable. And then yeah. they're like, you know what? You know, there's a point where you be with somebody for so long and it's like you go from, like, just... Being comfortable. I to love like, how. Oh, oh, sorry. I love how everybody here while we're talking about this, there's something going on in all of our heads that's like taking us <laughs> to a specific thing. Oh, like, we're like, <laughs> like, I don't want to talk about that, but I got to stay like, <laughs> to make sure that it doesn't just talk about me because I mean I had this happen to make <laughs> that not work. <laughs> Like no, like we gotta pass the room around. Like you know, I'm looking at her. She's looking off at the distance, and she's just reminiscing. (laughs) And I had a moment where I was like, "Wait, wait, you can't say that because that's gonna gonna talk about my situation. I gotta make it justifiable. You just over here like." (laughs) No. <laughs> See, we're all just remembering. <laughs> but it's dope, I remember that time. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good feeling. I hope you I guys mean, are doing the same thing as you're watching it. Something triggered you, and you're like, "Ooh, yeah, that person was a good person." Like, drop a comment and let us know, like, like Has what was that moment? To you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like you know, like what was that? Uh, or did moment? you have one of those moments? Have you ever had had your heart broken? Ooh. I think almost everybody has. I want to say that. No, Some people no, in different forms. Like you ever go to but, you ever go to like a restaurant they don't have it. But I'm talking about a love. No, I'm talking about a love, love, a love, love heartbreak. Love. A love heartbreak is yeah. Different. But I mean, but I think that there's different types of heartbreak because mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. you can somebody could pass away and that your heart could be broken from that. Like mm-hmm. that's just grieving. But you're talking about like relationship heartbreak. Mm-hmm. That's I mean, rough. I mean, at our age, I think that just about everybody has faced it. I feel like a, a lot of people are scared to percentage. love, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. A lot of people are scared to yeah, love. Yeah, but why are they afraid days. to love? Because of... they felt what it what loss is like. <clears throat> nah, because they've just seen other people experience it that they're so scared. Mm-hmm. And people are not giving them the right information. A lot of people be in a beautiful relationship, enjoying well, that's it. That's why you gotta, like, don't do nothing until it's mutual. Mm-hmm. You could be single as a Pringle, honey. If he ain't claiming you, don't claim him. Honestly, though, like I swear, to, I swear to God, like that's some facts. I ain't even gonna lie. Like if if don't homeboy or Shuddy's not claiming you, why the fuck are you out here freaking bugging? Like, but that's the same thing as as loving someone. Don't tell them you're in love with them until you feel like. They but I feel like you. this is just disrespecting yourself. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, at some point, it's like, yo, I'm just disrespecting myself right now, and I need to chill the fuck out. Like, you know, you got to have a certain level of respect for yourself to even be like, yo, I don't deserve this, or this is what I'm worth. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just going to throw myself under the bus now. <laughs> <laughs> I am I think, like, since I left my ex, I think that I, truly right now I'm afraid to love again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I'm just in a in a place of like holy crap! Like how can I love someone again? <laughs> it happens. That. It yeah. happens. I had a kind of the opposite effect. I was kind of like, Do you know what? Like rebound. I can't. No, not a rebound. I was like, honestly, like it didn't work, but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna get hurt. And it's like you can't find something if you're closed off. That was kind of my mentality. And I was like, honestly, if this is something that I want, I'm going to be very selective. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to find it. But it was a feeling that I couldn't control. And I don't know about you, but it was a feeling I couldn't control. Of It was like a wall came up and I couldn't, I had to like, literally every day maybe start breaking it down. Well, I and- put my wall up to my ex. Mm-hmm. Like, I wasn't trying to put my wall up towards other people. 
I was putting my wall up towards my ex because I was like, I know what happened last time. Yeah. And it's like, we mutually broke up, but there was obviously a reason. Yeah. And it's like, I don't want to go back to that reason. And mm-hmm. I want to be in a negative space again. Yeah. So like, with him, I was kind of like, you know what? Like, I want to be protective of myself. Yeah. And then with um, the person I'm talking to now, I was like, you don't deserve me to put up a wall because you've never done anything to me. Right. And you're, and I'm very selective, so I wouldn't have chose somebody who I felt like they were going to do that to me in the first place. Yeah. I mean, I dig that. That makes sense. Like, fucking I'm trying wall. to be responsible. <laughs> you have Consider. a So you feel you have a I, wall right I, now? Uh, yes. I was going to say no, but I can't be in denial. Yeah. I definitely <laughs> have a wall up right now. Yeah. Um, but, like, that doesn't stop me from at least trying to get to know people mm-hmm. and getting to, like... Just, like, at an arm's length. Yeah, yeah. And and then possibly moving forward from that, like, on my own terms. Yeah. Get you some butterflies, girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you feel like you're in control of that wall, though? Yeah, there's a possibility. Yeah. Right now... Like, one like hand on just, the wheel, one hand... Yeah, like, right now, the, the wall's just there. Like, I'm... You're just like decorating. Yeah, I'm decorating it slowly. (laughs) I'm drawing on it. Like it's, uh, I know you're there, but we just go make it look pretty while it's here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, That's dope. I feel like we all need that wall at some point in our lives. Like it, it, it protects us. Mm -hmm. And I mean our inner selves from like you know the outside world. So it's not wrong. What you feel like is right. Like you know, and that's why I ask if you're in control. As long as you know you're in control of that wall and you can let it down at your will then you're good. You're groovy. I think we had a healthy discussion today. People. We did. Yeah. It was very productive. It no. was calm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, was a, it was a really it's rainy it day was, today. It was That's very it was. reminiscent. It was That's shady. what it was. It, was because it made we were me all... feel good. Like, I let something out. You know? Therapy yeah. 101. <laughs> <laughs> I just Dr. spilled some tea. Phil. And I was like, what did I spill? Yeah. I spilled some tea. I don't know. A little tea. tea. Oh, we still oh, tea. Uh, peach hibiscus. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love healthy conversations, and I hope like someone out there learned something, and someone out there gained something from this conversation. Yeah, maybe you feel experience. a little more confident in telling someone you feel Do a certain it. type of way, or maybe you feel more confident with where you stand um, after a breakup or whatever. I take so. what you can. We got tea. <laughs> I you should get, like, tea. a teapot and put it here for every video yeah. just so people know that I got tea. the tea. You got tea. You know what? That's <laughs> going to be added. We need to add that for sure. Like, I go. got the tea. What tea. you want? Raspberry tea. green tea? I got it. <laughs> Throw some his hibiscus. Like biscuits. <laughs> yeah. I got oh, some God. peach biscuits. <laughs> yeah. We got, we got iced tea. We honey, serve. Honey lemon. You, but, you know, Ooh. I always serve it Ooh. hot. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill me. <laughs> Don't burn yourself. But y'all know. I gotta get a shirt that says "Don't burn yourself." <laughs> I'm here for it. That's gonna be my thing. I got you. Don't burn yourself. I got you. I might have to do that. But honestly, it's always always fun kicking it with y'all. Sure is. And today Bye. I brought the crazies, you know, Jenny right here, beautiful lady right here. You, <laughs> you know I'm gonna stop intro you. Yeah, like I'm telling you, cause you gotta start fucking. I do gotta yours. do it myself. You gotta but do you gotta yourself. work for it. Hey. <laughs> My but y'all, I appreciate these two ladies over here, and it was fun. And stay loving, stay happy. Be Love happy. peace and chicken grease. And chicken wings, chicken grease. <laughs> chicken grease, boo. Chicken wings, man. No, 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 ain't nothing but a thing. Chicken hey. wing on a string. <laughs> Y'all ain't never heard that before? Y'all ain't never watched Southside video? With no. Ashanti Southside. and Lloyd? <laughs> ain't nothing but a chicken wing. What? Ooh, it ain't ooh. nothing but a thing. Chicken wing on ooh. a string, baby. Ooh, <laughs> out here. <laughs> you out here. Oh, both of y'all look cute together. So, should we do a thing? <laughs> if I lose you, then that's you, uh.